Hi students, uh, let's continue with this informed search algorithms in the artificial intelligence. So far we discussed about the best for search and the A star algorithm. Now coming to the another type of the informed search algorithm in the artificial intelligence is the AO star search algorithm. So AO star search algorithm is also called as end or graph and or search algorithm. Okay, it is also called as and or and it is the best algorithm for solving the and or graphs and or graphs. Okay, so here uh, I'll just tell an example. So this is a regular example. So, so far whatever we are learning in the and or graphs in the and or uh, graphs that I you are already learn in other subjects so the same example here i'm using it's a regular example that you're there in the textbook tv set steel tv earn money earn money buy tv so i said a star or a star is an end or graph it is just like an end or graph so here this is end symbol why i'm taking this as an end symbol means if i want to purchase a tv means if i want to see a tv i want to see tv so how you you don't have tv in your home you want to see tv so here you can do you can uh, see the tv by earning the money and buy the TV and watch the TV. This is one example. And earn money and buy TV. Okay. Earn money plus buy TV. So this is end, end symbol. Earn money and buy TV. You can watch TV. So earning and buying the TV, you can watch the TV. Or another thing is, you just simply steal the TV. Rather than earning all these things, you just steal the TV and watch it. Okay? Steal TV and watch it. So, that is a or. So, if you want to watch TV, what you will do? You, you can earn and buy TV or you can just simply steal the TV. So, this is a representation of and or graph. Okay? And or. So, here... You are seeing the three terms, but these two are combining. It's if these two are combined, then only that work will be completed. Here, the simply one work is enough to complete that. So, this three tasks I divided into two tasks. So, if these two combinedly they can complete the task, it singly they can complete the task. There is an end or graph. So, these both has to be ended. Then only you can buy, watch the TV. And this is or graph. So, only by stealing the TV, you can watch the TV. So, this is a simple example. Uh, whenever you talk about the end or graph means this example is coming into your mind. Obviously. Okay. So, in this Averstar algorithm, the complete problem is divided into set of sub problems. So, here this is complete problem. The problem here is watch tv watch tv so this watch tv i divided into sub problems the complete problem into divided into sub problems either steal tv or earn plus buy earn plus buy so i divided into sub problems one single problem is divided into sub problems so in that way the everstar algorithm is is a a problem is divided into a set of sub problems where each sub problem can be solved separately so it is solved so how it is solved i am watching the tv by stealing it and it is also solved how it's solved i earn and buy the tv and i am now watching the tv so each sub problem can be solved separately so this is a concept of avo star algorithm so let me explain with an example so that you will be very clear about that what is an avo star algorithm in the simple way i'll just tell, take a simple example a b c a d values or this okay so here this is an end symbol because this is and or graph and or graph so here this heuristic value is 9 when the value is 5, let me take 3, let me take 4. Okay, so this goes to 1. 
so always a o star the cost of one node to the another node is always it is one okay so here which one is the best earning actually in the general this is not the best the best way is earning and buying the tv is always good because it will be in the long term stealing the tv is a bad habit but here i am just taking an example which is having the less obviously by stealing the tv you don't put any effort without putting the effort you are just simply watching the tv so here also my concept is i don't want to put effort i want to get the output that is the thing okay so if i do this i within phi okay means heuristic value of that is h of f is equal to so i get phi plus 1 so phi plus 1 is 6 so this all are combining one because this is end graph c and d so the heuristic function of this is so not the heuristic function f of n you have to take it as f of n the f of n value for this is g of n 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 so what is 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 9 so that i have written here 9 okay so for this is it is 5 6 and this is 9 which one is the best obviously this is the best solution because within 6 i am just completing this task so steve without putting the effort i can watch the tv by stealing so that's the concept let me take one more example to explain this a b c d e f G H I G. So they are given the heuristic values for this. I mean, uh, H of n values for this is this. I got thirty eight. How I got thirty eight? I'll explain that. Let me take first here the five, ten, three, four, fifteen, ten. Okay. So The heuristic value of this is fifteen plus one sixteen sixty ten plus one. You will get twenty seven. So for this, for all this is one. So three plus one. This is a four. Three plus one four. Four plus one five. Four plus five. You will get this value as nine. Okay, and this is completely or graph, and this one is. One graph, and this completely becomes one. Actually, by seeing this, you can clearly understood that this is a least uh, heuristic value. So, the, even though it is a least heuristic value, if you want to this, whenever this combinedly work, then only you can watch that uh, complete the task. So, three plus four, you are getting nine. So, for this, this, these two nodes, the complete task D has to be done. only with c you can't complete the task c plus d then only you'll get a okay so the total cost here is a 38 you got okay this is a 27 21 27 plus 1 and 9 plus 1 you'll get 38 and whereas here 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 okay and this is and 10 plus 1 so total you'll get 17 here this is a 17 and Whenever these two are work combinedly, then only you'll get this B value. So now seventeen plus one, eighteen. So here you got eighteen. So which is which one is the best path? Eighteen or thirty-eight? Obviously, eighteen is the best path for selecting the uh, for searching. Okay. So this is how you have to calculate the search tree. Which tree is the best tree by using the avo star search algorithm so here we just remember this example that is a tv example so if you see you if you remember this example you can uh, easily implement whatever the problem they are given in the exam thank you